That's funny, because the only thing that I ever wanted was a home, a family. guys welcome back to another vlog i'm sitting in front of my bookshelf it's one of my favorite things in the world but sometimes the book choosing process can be so hard so with today's sponsor they actually help make the process a whole lot smoother and easier for you and that is none other than book of the month i've worked with them before and i absolutely love them if you haven't heard of them before i'm just going to quickly talk about them so you guys can learn more about their service and also how you can get a discount code on your next book purchase which is really cool so they are really popular and fast-growing online book service for readers. Their mission is to promote new and emerging authors and help readers discover new books that they love. How it works is that their team looks through so many books each month just to find the perfect curation for you to choose from. That way you can spend more time reading and less time researching. Also, book of the month is risk-free, so if one month you don't like any of the selections, you can always opt out and you will not be charged, which is nice. Plus, they have the best price for new release hardcover fiction. If you're a new member, you can actually sign up using code FLOWERS this month of May and you can get your first hardcover book for just $5. That's it, $5. I'm gonna show you guys two selections that I really thought were good from this month's list. First up I chose, did you hear about Kitty Carr? And it just reminded me of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. If you've read that book, it basically traverses the glamor of old Hollywood and the seductive draw of modern day showbiz. It's a very interesting read, I'm very excited. And then of course I couldn't stay away from the rom-coms. I chose Yours Truly, which I would categorize in the same group as The Love Hypothesis, The Unhoneymooners, The Hating game kind of the same vibe where they don't like each other and they end up liking each other so if you want to read the synopsis for both of these you can go onto the website with the book of the month subscription you can now choose to either get a hardcover or an audiobook you can download the book of the month app to purchase and listen to your audiobook wherever you go very convenient just head over to bookofthemonth.com make sure to use the code flowers to get your first hardcover or audiobook for just five dollars but yeah with all that being said let's just get on into the vlog Mm. 
Oh girl, I just got out of hot yoga, so I need to put these on. What is up? Welcome back to another vlog. I am so happy to be vlogging today. My gas tank is on the other side. I parked on the opposite side. Mm-hmm. Of course I would do that. Oh. The card reader just wasn't working. So I was like, you know what? Maybe this is just a bad gas station. So we're going to a different one. I want to get a smoothie. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just kind of going with the flow. I'm not really mad about it. Oh my god. If you're curious, what I get is a berry banana burst with vanilla whey protein. So good after a workout, so good in general. It just gives me like summer vibes. I'm going home now to just shower and get ready for the day. We'll see where we take it from there. Whirly pop. I'm home and this is what my hair looks like. I just love how my natural color complements my skin. So we're back to being a full brunette and I feel like it makes my eyes pop. Hello? So I don't know. Anyway, I just finished filming for Book of the Month. I actually love them. I have so many of their books because they have really good selections. Those were the ones that I talked about at the beginning of the video. I went to Barnes & Noble, of course, because I can't help myself. I've been reading Better Than the Movies, which is the last book that I chose, and it kind of gives me the same vibes as this. It's a cute little rom-com, but this one's more like YA. And when I tell you I ate this up, I'm not even done with it because I don't want it to end. But it's just so cute. If I had to recommend like a silly little, really easy, fun to get through book, I would recommend this. It gives me the same vibes as Love and other words by Christina Lauren. I annotated this one so much because I was obsessed and it's the same type of thing. It's pretty similar in like the childhood aspect of it where the two main characters grow up together. So if you like that, you should definitely read this. It has Taylor Swift references, rom-com movie references. It's cute. I love it. And then I'm also reading This Woven Kingdom, which if you've read the Shatter Me series, I have her right there. I haven't finished the full thing. I've read the first three, but I'm saving the last three for like a full reread. Anyway, her writing, chef's kiss, her characters are so cool. It's just so easy to get into. I know sometimes like fantasy reads are kind of confusing in the beginning, but honestly, this one just wraps you in really quickly and easily. So I highly recommend this one. I'm well, I'm like a couple chapters in, but I can't put it down. It's so good. These are my two current reads and it makes me really happy that I'm actually excited about picking them up because I've been in such a slump the past few months where I didn't want to read at all. Like I would pick up a book, read a couple chapters, but I was like not excited about them. So those two, definitely good. That's what I'm reading right now if you were curious. Anyway, I feel like I've been talking so much for the past 30 minutes and I want to take some photos. I don't know. It's a like I said, it's a Friday. Oh my god, in my last video, I was taking photos on a Friday too. But it's just that kind of vibe, you know? So I might do that. I might get ready. I'm pretty much ready, but I gotta get out of this hoodie. It's so cute though. It's by Dandy. It has hearts on the sleeve, which is so cute. But now I have a book mess. Oh my gosh. It's so funny because my desk is actually my nightstand. And I just always see 
this big load of journals and books and this is like what I touch on a daily basis kind of this stack will evolve but it will always be a stack there will always be books and journals by my bedside I don't know I got large fries chick-fil-a deluxe and hold on pause Drake and I got a large coke I'm watching sex in the city so if this isn't the definition of the perfect Friday night I don't know what is because this is heaven. I'm gonna enjoy my Friday night in with my food in my bed. Don't worry guys, I'm washing my sheets on Sunday, so it should be good. But yeah, I'm watching my favorite show by myself. There's a part of me that wishes I was out, but another part of me is really happy that I just get to be in my bed. It's so cozy and I just get to enjoy my food, so. Oh, by the way, I did also take photos earlier. I don't know if they were good or bad. Like, good enough to post. But we'll see. It was, it was fun taking them. And that's all that matters. Anyway, good night. <laughs>